Hey y'all, it's your girl Chastity J and I'm back with a quick message from God, y'all. I don't know about y'all, but lately life has been life and just, just a little bit. And God has been truly taking me on a journey. And all I could do is just be grateful and be thankful no matter what it is. The good, the bad, and the ugly. But I just wanted to kind of share a quick message with y'all. Um, last night when I was spending some time with God and studying my Bible, I was in Deuteronomy, I believe chapter four. And basically that book just kind of shows you that God is there and he's never going to leave you no matter what to just trust him, trust him with everything that you have. And he is going to fight on your behalf. He's going to fight on your behalf, but you just have to fully put your trust in him and do whatever it is that he's telling you to do. Even if it don't make sense, y'all, because I'm telling y'all, some stuff lately, I'm like, now, Jesus, now, I know this ain't, I, I know this ain't what you want me to do. I know this ain't your best. I know this, I, you asking a lot of me, but all I can do is just say, okay, God, all of you, none of me. I'm going to put me aside. I'm going to continue dying to flesh. And I'm going to be obedient to you, your guidance, and what you're telling me to do. So that is something that he wanted me to just share with y'all. Just know whatever it is that he is telling you to do. And you need to pray. You need to pray and ask for discernment to make sure that it is coming from God and not from the enemy. But whatever it is he's telling you to do, just do it, even if it don't make sense. Don't try to make it make sense and miss out on your blessing because you too busy trying to make it make sense and you probably can't. Just be obedient, whatever it is that God is telling you to do. Just know that he's never going to tell you to do anything that's going to hurt or harm you. He might tell you to do something that's going in the end, teach you a lesson and make you uncomfortable for growth, for elevation, for healing. But he's not going to try to hurt you. So just be obedient, y'all, and just do whatever it is that God is telling you to do. Because I'd rather do what he's telling me to do than not. And then figure out what those consequences are or delay my own blessings. Like I tell you all the time, we self-sabotage and get in our own way because we hard-headed. Or we want to know why. We want Jesus to prove himself. We want to make sure that... It's from him when we already know it's from him, but we just scared. So it's just, you know, leap out on faith and trust God. Trust God and do whatever it is that he is telling you to do. And I promise you will reap the fruits of your labor. He's going to bless you regardless, even if it looks crazy. And that's a part of that crazy faith. Keep in mind that we walk by faith, not by sight. So even if you can't see it, you like, now, Jesus, I don't know how. How are you going to pay these bills when I got negative, negative monies in my bank account? But he said he going to pay them. Trust them. Just trust them. Trust him. Trust his word and trust what he said he going to do. Because God is going to do a thing. And he is not a man. So he will not lie to you. Okay, like these like these humans that stay lying. All y'all do is lie. But no, nah, y'all, just trust God and do whatever it is he's telling you to do. In this season, he is really teaching me how to walk blindly, how to truly, truly walk by faith and not by sight. Because a lot of things I truly don't be understanding. Or he'll tell me to do some, something that is super sacrificial so I know it's from God. And it will make me very uncomfortable. But I know it's from God. I know it ain't from the enemy because he wouldn't be telling me to do anything that's going to help others or that's going to benefit me. He he going to be telling me to self, uh, to self sabotage, to do the opposite. So I know it's definitely from God, but God has truly been taking me on a journey. He's been testing me. Um, he's been, which is um, causing me to have to rest more, rest more than ever physically, spiritually, emotionally. But he's been taking me on a journey and just, you know, just just growing me, growing me in more ways, growing me in ways that I didn't know I needed to grow in or heal in. And as uncomfortable as it is, I'm like, 
Jesus, I trust you. So, if you can resonate, if this was a word for you, drop in the comments. If a man or a girl, I understand, I feel you, okay? Let me know that this was a word for you if you are in a season right now where God